Peace. We're back with a second video. As, as I said in the other video, I'm learning as I go. Very much learning as I go. Um, so, oh. Hello. <laughs> Killing goblins, are ya? Um, why are you holding a chest? <laughs> so, I, I increased my mic volume a little bit. Um, hopefully that's noticeable because I definitely uh, played back the audio the first video and was, uh, I'll say, for fun. I definitely uh, thought it was a little bit quiet. So, um, <laughs> here, dirt poor. This is so not planned, guys. Let's see what they're going to give. <laughs> so funny. Honestly, the RuneScape community has dwindled pretty hard um, over the years, you know, as the game loses its popularity. But stuff like that is just too funny. I, I That's why I love MMOs, you know? Like, you never know who you're going to run into um, or interactions you're going to have. I mean, I've met so many people uh, in this game. Oh, I also noticed I was like, zooming in and out, in and out a lot uh, in the last video. So I do apologize about that. That's that's kind of like my ADHD kicking in where I just need to be doing stuff with my hands. Um, and so I just play with the little zoom in and out uh, wheel on my mouse. <laughs> so I'll try not to do that because I know obviously one, that could probably make somebody sick <laughs> having to look at it zooming in and out over and over. But um, yeah, so I'll try to that down um, and get a handle on that. Um, like I said, guys, I'm learning as I go. I mean, uh, I, I don't foresee myself to ever um, do this like a lot, but I definitely had fun making the first one. So, uh, you know, I just decided to make a second one and we'll see how it goes. You know, I'd love if there were people seeing this and, and if it was helping them relax or just, uh, you know, something to watch as they wind down for the day. I know that for me, uh, ASMR is very much so like a, uh, um, something I wind down my day with. Uh, so when I'm, you know, sitting in bed, uh, instead of scrolling on, you know, TikTok or Instagram or something, um, I, I try to watch ASMR and as I assume most ASMR watchers do before bed. Um, so that would be really cool if this was something that helped somebody wind down for their, uh, from their day into uh, sleep mode. So, uh, so funnily enough, I actually bought, uh, and it's funny, that person asked, why are you holding a chest? Because um, I bought this chest specifically for the thumbnail of the first video. I thought to myself, I was like, okay, in the thumbnail, it's got to be something kind of related to what the video is about. And we're doing a clue scroll. So I'm like, okay, what can I do to make it, you know, clues correlated? And then I was like, oh yeah, I remember the other day I was looking up, uh, if, like, a fun, they, they call them fun weapons. Um, and, I, and this came up under two-handed fun weapons, because basically for my, well, I don't call it fashionscape, but for my fashionscape, it's very, like, simple, and then my, uh, my weapons are kind of goofy, so for example, like my dual wield weapons, I have white flowers for my main hand and like an iron dagger for my 
and so I bought this and used it for the thumbnail and I figure why not I'll just wear it while I'm running around here I don't ever really um, well there's sometimes I'll, I'll be holding a weapon but maybe it'll just be for this video I don't know we'll see so uh, I don't actually okay so I can we started at 20 caskets now we have 22 so we'll do three more and then we'll open the 25 how does that sound we could end the video with the opening and see what we get um, so laugh at the crossroads south of St. Clair Mansion so we're going to use the fairy ring to go to the St. Clair Mansion and I really it's it's very difficult <laughs> for me to be conscious of my deep breathing but I definitely noticed that in the first video where if I'm paying like this and talking very slowly and, and see I just I just breathed in right there and I'm not even sure if that was quiet or not um, again I'm doing this like very kind of uh, <laughs> I'll very uh, I'll tart the tart it up by saying it's a minimalist setup but really it's just me not having any proper equipment um, and I'm using a uh, HyperX Cloud 2 headset that I use for my PlayStation and then I'm doing, uh, I'm just recording the screen on my Mac, um, my Mac Mini, uh, with QuickTime, so, yeah, so it's, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty, um, yeah, like I said, I'll call it a minimalist setup, just so I don't, uh, roast myself, but it's, it's pretty, uh, lackluster, so I don't have really any type of audio control where I can kind of see what's going on with my feet yet uh, but again if, if I get any type of feedback uh, on this channel where people are wanting to see more um, then I will uh, try to do more and I really 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 hope you don't hear this uh, this dog I live in an apartment complex and the apartments are uh, pretty soundproof but ultimately when people have dogs uh, I can still hear them barking and it's incredibly rude and I love animals I'm in no way like a dog hater or like an animal uh, owner, hater, or whatever you want to call it, um, but it, I just, do, I do think it's very rude to, uh, continue for your dog to bark, but I also understand, like, if you're not home, then, you know, things happen, so, uh, that's just apartment living, I, I was, I lived in houses, um, I was renting houses up until this last year, uh, I finally moved back into an apartment, um, I, I found that I really, I didn't like, um, I, well, at this point in my life, I didn't really like the uh, the responsibilities that come with uh, living in a home, like an actual house, uh, you know. And uh, there's certain things, advantages to living in an apartment. And you know, I'm uh, I'm single right now. You know, I, 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 that's how I live my life. I, I work a lot, uh, so the single life is pretty good for me right now. I'm enjoying it, uh, and, and that was another deciding factor to. Uh, house that was another deciding factor as to moving back to an apartment but uh, it comes with its downsides obviously like prime example uh, the dogs um, but it's you know it's manageable it's nothing too annoying um, you know and living alone in an apartment versus uh, I believe I had uh, roommates in every house that I lived in yeah I did um, and so living alone is definitely a huge bonus uh, compared to living with roommates, so for those of you who live with roommates, I'm sure you know, it's like, there's not really a word to describe uh, it other than not ideal. So, alright, search the drawers in the house in Draenor Village. We got two more clues here. Go to Gatherby because that's where we need to go next. But I wonder if I put a walk 
Perfect is especially not perfect, and, I, and that's kind of why I love it. It's, it's, in its heyday, it was very much a very popular game, and there's always been bugs, you know, as in, in any game, there's always been, like, little glitches and unintended things, but uh, that's what makes these types of games fun, you know? So, alright, last one. Search the drawers in the house and drain our village. Okay, we're going back to the same place we just were. That's no problem. Now 
we're seeing the typical oh, okay back to the another fortunate component uh, gothic's rope top oh wow let's go black crossbow i'm telling you guys some people really just don't understand how the potential easy clues uh have you know uh, for fortunate components it's like you know a mil to 1.3 mil like <laughs> look at this guys we've opened what did we have 25 we've opened 13 of them we made 8 mil like I don't know, it just doesn't take that long to, to get all these caskets when you're just zipping through it like, uh, pfft, guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is just incredible. Um, the fortunate components, and you get the, and these, is a, uh, these are another good item to get in the pages. Bandos ones don't sell for this at all, but the Armado pages are really, like, awesome to get because they're worth a couple mil. So, all right, eight of them left. Here we go. Okay. That was a uh, a relic proc, but it's like worth nothing. It's like a knightly component, but it's a uh, black plate legs gold. So there we go, another black crossbow, awesome, 1.2 mil. Awesome, another composite bow, one mil. All right, um, I'm only starting to reroll when there's a reroll token, but like I'd rather just do it now, you know. Yep, and it's worth it because we got a black plate screen. guys this is a great opening got studded uh g for 1.2 mil all right here's a reroll token again it worked last time is it gonna work again oh baby a double fortunate let's go okay well last one here we go 17k that is fine with me because look at that guys in 25 caskets we got 19 mil like that's just amazing so uh i hope you enjoyed the video um until next time, I'll definitely uh, try to get another one of these videos out soon. Um, I have a lot of easy clues to go. As you can see, I have 225, including the one that's already out. Um, so I'll definitely uh, try to do like another 25 and then maybe do a video of me doing the five and we can get a 30 opening going next time. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. If it's anything like this opening was, that was incredible. 19 mil for 25 caskets again. Wow, just awesome. So, all right, guys.